this year we have, we literally, I call it the North star question. We have one question that we ask, um, everybody on our team in SAS Academy. So I run two companies. SAS Academy is the largest CEO coaching company for software entrepreneurs. And then high speed ventures is kind of where I do all my investments. Um, for SAS Academy, the question is if we could only grow based on customer referrals, how would you change your work? That's the question. Cause then everything else becomes an amplifier. So like, that's incredible. I don't know. Like when I, when I shared that with my, my team, you know, as we kind of did the, the, the planning, it, everybody, I asked them like asking yourself that question, we can't grow like marketing and like, there, there's all these things that we do that are the revenue engine. But what if we just made it very simple? We have a customer and we have to get referrals from that customer. So what does that mean? It means a lot of stuff. It means the customer has to get an impact. It means the customer has to get impact quick. It means we have to go above and beyond because people wouldn't refer if they didn't have a wow experience. It means that every one of the interactions that they have with and uh, uh, interacts with our brands and like in the company, outside the company, past customers all has to be like a positive sentiment. Um, and it also means that we have to ask for the referrals. We should probably seed the referrals and maybe the initial conversations and the in the experience design and there's all these things, but it just, it was for me, I always want to try to give them so, so few things to focus on to make it crystal clear. But all I know is that if I can get everybody within my company at SAS Academy focused on that, it's inevitable that everything else doesn't happen. Right? So it's literally, this is the question for the year. We added it to the beginning of every one of our meetings. We added it to all the one-on-ones. We add it to our quarterly planning. We, we literally bake it into the culture of the company for the next 12 months. And that sets the outcome, right? Our outcome is very simple. It's what percentage of our customer base referred other people. One number, right? It's either going up or down. We track it. We, we use our CRM solution. And, and then what I do is I just kind of paint what that kind of company would look like so that marketing and sales and program design and coaching and all that stuff have a sense of like how their department is going to be impacted by that question. Yeah, I, I really see how it, it's almost like a, a waterfall question. You do this, you, you ask this one question, and all of a sudden, everyone's really focused on making sure that the customers are served really well. And uh, it really sets the stage. And, and I really like your idea of just making it the first thing in every meeting, making sure people talk about it in their one-on-ones. I mean, it's a really, really good way uh, to cascade that and make sure it happens. I, I think this is, you know, from a, from a planning perspective, especially, you know, this is the beginning of the year um, and, you know, people are, are really looking to do this kind of planning. So I think hopefully they've, they've started the process, you know, before the beginning of the year, but if not, it's, it's still not too late. I also want to talk about some of the other things that I think matter. One of the things you said, for example, was you know, this year, different economy, people are going to be looking to get more out of their time, they're going to be looking to get more out of their teams. And one of the things that I think people struggle with is how they should go about spending their time. And you have this idea where you, you, you define the perfect week, you call it like the perfect week design. I'd love for you to describe what that is and, and how people can put it to work. Yeah, I actually have it. Uh, I'm gonna pull it up because it's it's that's powerful. It, I, I like literally give a full design template because of rhythm. Because what I learned a long time ago is that we don't manage time. I mean, time moves through our lives linearly. Um, all we manage is the energy we bring to that time. And if we can actually evaluate our week from that lens, and then look at the type of work we do, um, so that the energy flows through it, because like. There's certain types of work. If you ask me to do in the afternoon between two and five, like you're not going to get my best work. And as a leader, as a manager, I'm the one that decides kind of how I focus my time and energy. But like for me, and this is, it's actually on page 141. Check that out. So that's, I give the full template design. This is my perfect week. But again, I give you the framework for people to design the way that works best for them. 